Welcome to an exciting episode of Financial Odyssey. Today, we're embarking on a journey through the financial landscape of Canadian Pacific Kansas City Limited, affectionately known as CP. So grab your notepads, because we're about to unravel the depths of these intriguing numbers. All aboard! Our first stop is the Price to Earnings Ratio, or PR. CP's trailing 12 month PR currently stands at 17.15. But what's interesting is that over the past five years, the average PR has been 23.30. Looking into the future, the PR forward is a promising 16.68, suggesting optimism about CP's forthcoming earnings. Next, let's talk about the PG ratio. This metric helps us assess the balance between PR and projected earnings growth. CP's PG ratio is a revealing 1.31, indicating that it might be an opportune time to invest. Steering our attention towards returns, CP showcases a return on equity of 11% and a return on assets of 5.7%. These figures illustrate CP's knack for generating profits using both equity and assets. Now, let's track the path of earnings per share, or EPS. Currently at $4.59, CP's EPS is noteworthy. Even more exciting, Analysts foresee a whopping 13.1% growth in EPS over the next five years, fueling investors' anticipation. For those who treasure dividends, CP offers a dividend yield of 0.97%. But hold on to your hats, because CP's dividend growth has been an astounding 7.43% over the past 10 years, showcasing the company's commitment to its shareholders. Let's navigate through the margins now. Despite an operating margin of minus 34.20%, CP's profit margin stands tall at 42%, illustrating its ability to transform revenue into profits. Embarking on a financial voyage through history, let's examine revenue and earnings evolution. Between 2015 and 2019, CP's revenue maintained stability. However, after 2021, the revenue surged. And when it comes to earnings, they've been on a triumphant upward trajectory for an entire decade. Impressive, right? Time to analyze CP's financial health. The debt-to-equity ratio rests at 0.58, and the long-term debt-to-equity ratio is 0.53. This showcases CP's judicious handling of debt. Fasten your seatbelts for market performance. Over the past 52 weeks, CP's average price return was minus 4.05%. But this year has been an exception for Canadian Pacific, since in the last five years it has managed to obtain a total return higher than the well-known ETF VO. Finally, analysts project a thrilling 49.37% upswing over the next year, transforming its current price of $78.88 to almost $120. But here's my twist. After my further analysis I propose that CP's fair value is $79.49 suggesting a slight undervaluation. While analysts anticipate a surge, my analysis proposes that CP might be closer to its actual price. Who will be right? In conclusion, Canadian Pacific Kansas City Limited, with its massive $73.52 billion market cap, paints a financial saga as intricate as its sprawling rail network. With promising growth prospects, prudent fiscal management, and a dividend history that demands respect, CP emerges as a financial force to be reckoned with. Thank you for joining us on this exhilarating financial journey. If you've found these insights valuable, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, remember to conduct your own research and seek counsel from financial experts before making any investment choices.